All right, let's set up email to case in Salesforce. If you have a service cloud license, then you have access to the service setup menu options. And from here, uh, there's an actual wizard to help you walk through setting up email to case. So I click on the connect your support email option. And now I want to set up my Gmail account. You'd probably have an email like support at mycompany.com. But for my demo, I just have cool demo iman at gmail.com. And here's where you set the details of the case. What do you want your case record to be defined with when it's created? So who's it assigned to? What do you want to say the origin of the case was? What's the priority of the case from that email? And now Salesforce just wants to prove that you own that email address. So go to your Gmail account, click the link that Salesforce just sent you, and this lets Salesforce know that yes, I actually own the support at mycompany.com address. You click the link, you go back to your wizard, let Salesforce know you're done with that step. And now Salesforce has generated an email address for you. This is where you're going to forward emails. Anytime an email goes to that address, Salesforce is going to create a support ticket. So you're going to go to your Gmail account and you're going to add that email address as a forwarding address. And now Gmail is going to want to test that you actually own that email. So go back to Salesforce, let Salesforce know that you tried to set up the forwarding address. And now Salesforce is going to help you confirm that you own the address for Gmail. So you're going to go ahead and click this link, confirm that you own it. And now Gmail will know that you actually own this email address. But that's not it though. Now you actually have to go into Gmail. Now that you actually own the address, now it's an available option to set as a forwarding address. So now you set it as your forwarding address and you tell Gmail, all right, anytime I get an email, forward it there. Come back to Salesforce, let them know you're done and it tests it and you're done. And here you actually see me sending a real email to your support address. Your support Gmail receives the email and automatically forwards it to Salesforce. The Salesforce email address gets the email and now you have a real case just waiting there for you. And you can see these were the verification emails and the test emails that were generating cases before. But look right there, there is the email I just sent and it created a case. And because there's a contact with my email address, it found my record and associated it with the case. You now have a fully functional email to case setup. And if you were to go send an email from here, you could reply and you can reply from your support at email address just fine. And you can send really anything you want. So your customer, they sent an email, they get an auto response email from Salesforce, and then they actually see the agent's email. When the agent replies, notice there's this reference ID in the bottom of their email. And then when your customer replies to your agent, so when they're having a back and forth conversation, their email is going to contain that reference code, that little thread ID. And that's what tells Salesforce, hey, Salesforce, this email has to do with an existing support issue. Please don't keep creating new support tickets over and over again. And so when the customer replies, you get another new email from the customer. And that email is now threaded to the existing case. But that's it. It's set up. You can now send emails back and forth until you solve the customer's problem. And if you thought this was helpful and you want to learn more Salesforce stuff, you can join me every Tuesday and Thursday. I lead a live webinar where you can come learn about Salesforce and ask me some questions. Just go to salesforce.com slash webinars to see the upcoming events.